Imagine a world where your car drives you around while you sit back and relax. Sound futuristic? Well, that future is here with self-driving cars. This isn't science fiction. We're talking about real, tangible machines that are starting to populate our roads right here, right now. These autonomous vehicles, as they're formally known, are no longer a dream of tomorrow, but a reality of today. Just think about it. Your morning commute could be transformed from a stressful scramble into a peaceful period of productivity or relaxation. The elderly, the visually impaired, those who can't drive for any reason, self-driving cars could revolutionize their lives, offering newfound freedom and independence. But before we get carried away, let's dive a little deeper. How do these self-driving cars work? How do they navigate through traffic, obey traffic signals, and avoid collisions? Well, stay tuned, because we're about to lift the hood on the future of transportation. The answer lies in a combination of cutting-edge technologies working together seamlessly. Let's take a moment to lift the hood and delve into the heart of self-driving technology, where we find a symphony of sensors, cameras, LiDAR, radar, and software algorithms orchestrating a safe and smooth ride. First up, we have the sensors. These are the eyes and ears of autonomous vehicles. Sensors like ultrasonic, infrared, and temperature detectors are distributed across the vehicle, constantly gathering data about the environment. They can detect everything from the proximity of nearby objects to the temperature outside the car. Next, we have cameras. These are the vigilant observers that capture visual data in real time. Cameras offer a detailed view of the surroundings, identifying obstacles, road signs, traffic lights, and even pedestrians. They provide a 360-degree view, ensuring that nothing goes unnoticed. Now, let's talk about LiDAR and radar. LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, uses pulses of light to map out the world around the car. Radar, on the other hand, uses radio waves to detect the speed and distance of objects. Both of them work together to create a detailed and dynamic 3D map of the environment. Lastly, we have the software algorithms. These are the brains of the operation. They take the raw data from the sensors, cameras, LiDAR and radar and transform it into actionable information. The algorithms are capable of making complex decisions in a split second, like when to speed up, slow down, or even swerve to avoid obstacles. They're always learning, adapting, and improving thanks to the power of machine learning and artificial intelligence. These technologies come together to form the brain of a self-driving car, allowing it to make decisions on the road. So, the next time you see a self-driving car whizzing by, remember the intricate network of technologies working tirelessly under the hood to make that possible. Sensors and cameras are the eyes of a self-driving car providing a 360-degree view of its surroundings. Imagine walking around with eyes in the back of your head on the top and even on the sides. That's how a self-driving car sees the world, only instead of eyes, it uses a complex system of sensors and cameras. Let's dive into the role of these sensors and cameras. First off, they're responsible for detecting objects. Whether it's another vehicle, a pedestrian, a bicyclist, or even a stray dog, these sensors are on the lookout. They can measure the distance to these objects, their speed, and their direction, helping the car avoid any potential collisions. But that's not all. The sensors and cameras also read traffic signals. They can tell whether the light at the intersection ahead is red, yellow, or green. They can detect stop signs, yield signs, and other traffic markers. This capability ensures the car adheres to the rules of the road, just like a human driver would. What about understanding road markings, you ask? Yes, the sensors and cameras take care of that too. They can recognize the white and yellow lines that mark lanes, the symbols that indicate crosswalks, and the arrows that show allowed directions of travel. This helps the car stay in its lane and follow the correct path. Now you might be thinking, that's a lot of data, and you're right, the sensors and cameras generate a massive amount of information every second. But it's this data that provides the car with the detailed, real-time view of the world it needs to navigate safely and efficiently. But seeing is just the first step, the car needs to understand what it's seeing. And that, dear friends, is where artificial intelligence comes into play. But we'll delve into that in our next segment. For now, take a moment to appreciate the eyes of our self-driving car, tirelessly scanning the world around them all to ensure a safe and smooth ride. That's where LiDAR, radar, and software algorithms come in. LiDAR, or light detection and ranging, is a crucial tool for self-driving cars. It uses pulsed laser light to measure distances and create detailed three-dimensional maps of the environment. 
It's a bit like echolocation, but instead of sound, it uses light. LiDAR can detect the shape, size, and distance of objects, even in low visibility conditions, making it an invaluable tool for self-driving cars. Now let's talk about radar. Radar, or radio detection and ranging, has been around for much longer than LiDAR, and it's still vitally important. Radar uses radio waves to detect the distance and speed of objects, and it's especially good at picking up metallic objects like other vehicles. It can also work in all sorts of weather conditions, whether it's a sunny day or a rainy night. So we have LiDAR and radar scanning the environment and gathering tons of data. But what happens to this data? This is where software algorithms step in. These algorithms are the brains of the operation. They take the raw data from the LiDAR and radar and they interpret it. They can identify objects like pedestrians, cyclists, or other vehicles. They can also understand traffic signs and signals, lane markings, and much more. It's like they're reading the road, just like a human driver would. But these algorithms do more than just interpret the data. They also make decisions based on it. For example, if the LiDAR and radar detect a pedestrian crossing the road ahead, the algorithms will decide to slow down or stop the car. They're constantly analyzing the data and making split-second decisions to keep the car and its passengers safe. These algorithms learn from their experiences, too. They use machine learning techniques to improve their performance over time, learning from past mistakes and successes. So, every time a self-driving car goes for a drive, it's getting a little bit smarter. So, a self-driving car sees its surroundings and understands them. But how does it decide what to do next? The brain of a self-driving car is its software, which makes decisions based on the data it receives. Imagine being in the driver's seat, but the car is the one calling the shots. The software, the orchestrator of this symphony, determines when to speed up, slow down, turn, stop, or swerve around that squirrel darting across the road. It's like having an invisible chauffeur, one that's constantly alert and has a 360-degree view of its surroundings. But how does it make these decisions? Well, it's all about algorithms. These complex mathematical formulas are the rule books the software follows. They are designed to predict and respond to every possible scenario, whether it's a pedestrian stepping off the curb or a sudden downpour causing slippery roads. The decision-making process is a continuous cycle of observation, analysis, and action. The car observes its environment through sensors, analyzes the data, decides on the best course of action, and then acts accordingly. But here's the fascinating part. Self-driving cars are not just following a set of pre-programmed rules. They are learning machines, improving their decision-making skills over time. Through a process called machine learning, the car's software can learn from past experiences. For example, if the car approaches a pothole and feels a jolt, it records the experience. The next time it encounters a similar situation, it will remember the jolt and avoid the pothole. It's like the car is building its intuition, making it more adept at navigating the world. These vehicles are continuously learning, evolving, and improving. Each drive is a new lesson and every mile covered adds to their knowledge and experience. It's a never-ending journey towards perfection with the aim to make our roads safer and our journeys more comfortable. So the car sees, understands, and decides, but what happens if something goes wrong? Let's delve into that in the next scene. Safety is a paramount concern in self-driving technology. To ensure this, self-driving cars are equipped with fail-safe systems designed to take over in the event of a system failure. This is a bit like having a backup parachute when you go skydiving. It's there if you need it, but ideally you never will. Additionally, these cars are built with redundancy and sensors. So if one sensor fails, others are ready to pick up the slack. It's the automotive equivalent of not putting all your eggs in one basket. Moreover, even as we move towards a future of autonomous vehicles, humans remain an integral part of the equation. The technology allows a human driver to take control if necessary, serving as a final line of defense against unforeseen issues. With these measures in place, self-driving cars are poised to revolutionize our roads and our lives. It's not just about the convenience of hands-free driving, it's about creating safer and more reliable transportation.